Liam, given the size of the scar and the size of your head, you'd have an excuse not to have uh, attacked the ball like you did for that first goal, but you threw your head at it and put us into a into an early lead. That was a great moment and, and it obviously kicked start a really good, good afternoon for us. Definitely, yeah. Um, it's uh, something I've tried to work on this season. Um, you know, when it's in the defensive area, I was very aggressive last year and you know, I took away from that thinking, why can't I do the same in the other area? And something I'm trying to improve on. Uh, I want to score more goals and it was great to do it early and set us on the way today. And obviously the second goal straight after Sean Luco and John Swift linking up and I don't know what your view of it was like but it was fantastic from where we saw and it sort of shows the quality that our attacking players showed all afternoon to be honest it was a really strong performance at that end of the field. Yeah I know uh, our attacking players very good, I see it in training, um, I don't really see it so much in games because you as defence you know try and talk to each other and get our end sorted out while they're doing the business on the other side but you know, I did see it end up in the back of the net and you know, sean has got that ability. Um, I'm really happy for him. Obviously, he got the goal midweek given to him and uh, he got that one today as well. So he's really settling in well now and, and producing some great performances. And it's the sort of game as well. Like a, I'm sure you take the positives from it, all the goals, the, some of the style of play. You look at this, the, the goals that were conceded to it and not get, not get too carried away, but just come away very satisfied with uh, you know, tonight, today's, uh, today's performance. Yeah, I'd say 80% satisfied today. Uh, I think the attacking players will probably be you know, 90, 100, but defensively, a couple of chances, a couple of goals, disappointing. Um, we've discussed it already, you know, I think at times when the pressure is on like that, it's not uh, criminal you know, for players to put the boot through the ball, um, especially when we're cruising. Put ourselves under a little bit of pressure, but you know, ultimately we got the win and you know, the little bits that didn't work so well, uh, we can work on in training. And those, the fact that it is back-to-back -back wins as well, against two very tough teams as well in Forest and Derby, ahead of the international break, probably just gives everyone that little bit of a lift because we, we know the start of the season it wasn't exactly how we wanted it. Yeah, the belief's been there. Obviously, we were disappointed with the results. Um, but we know our style of play will it will, uh, it'll be difficult for teams to match sometimes. When it works like it does the last few days, it's brilliant. Um, but there's still, still space for us to improve and then kick on. I don't know you said to the, the local journalists here, though, as well, um, in the last few weeks there's been a lot of what you call noise I suppose from outside the club and that as players you block it out you know when people are talking negative terms or getting downbeat you, you have to as players just knuckle down like you've, you've been doing all year. Yeah uh, I said the same last year when we was doing so well uh, people were saying we wouldn't stay there you know we couldn't sustain it it's just you know other people's opinions it doesn't affect what we do uh, how we work on a training pitch and what we try and take onto the pitch um, we're a really tight-knit group here, we believe in what we're doing and you know, we, we've shown that because we've come out the other side um, still doing the exact same things as what wasn't working a couple of weeks ago but you know, just trying to make them better, make them sharper and create more chances and we've done that. We have got a little bit of a break now of course, for probably a chance for actually to get the physios working hard again to try and get a few of the boys back in and people like Thiago for example who's got a bit of a bump on the head as well. So well, first off, how, how is he and how are, how are you as well off the back of that? Injury? Yeah, um, he's alright, uh, obviously you know it's a lot more uh, serious now. Concussion, you know, they, they really do take it take it seriously and he's had to have a couple of weeks away from training ground. Obviously, he can't train, no contact and I think no exercise as well. So, he's all right. He's got a lovely scar. Um, his is more impressive than mine, but, you know, he's good and it'd be great to have him back after the international break. And you've got like a, a teammate in Paul McShane that's all scar tissue around his head and you, you're on the way there now, aren't you? Yeah, you know, I was half jealous, you know. He's a proper defender with all them scars. Uh, so it's just a shame it was on my own teammate, but you know, it's, it's my first and I'm sure it won't be my last. Absolutely. And, and lastly, the international break too does give you that little bit of chance to sort of, uh, to sort of rest or do maybe have a couple of days off. Is that, is that the plan for you, for you at the moment? Definitely. Um, you know, it's been a tough run of games physically. Um, a couple of us in the squad have run down colds and a bit of illness. Uh, so it'd be great just to have a bit of a rest, recharge the batteries, have a good blast Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday next week and, and really kick on the, the following week. Build up, of course, uh, the game against Wolves, who are flying high at the moment as well. Definitely, uh, they look good last night. Uh, it'd be a very interesting tactical game, but we can go in there full of confidence as well and, and try and kick up that table. Congratulations and enjoy your little time away. Cheers.